Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Pruitt. I'm a board certified dermatologist here um, for US Dermatology Partners um, in Carrollton, Texas. And I'm gonna be talking to you about skin cancer. I have a lot of patients that wanna know what does skin cancer look like? There are many versions of skin cancer and so let's divide it into two categories. Non-melanoma skin cancers are the most common skin cancers that we see. I see them on a daily basis. The newest statistic is that one out of every five Americans will have a skin cancer in their lifetime. So they're very common. Basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are in this category. Um, and so what these look like on the skin, they're usually pink. It's usually a bump on the skin. It can be a new bump that's growing that might be a little bit sore or painful to the touch. It might look like a a, a wart, um, but it hurts. Um, it could also look like a like a pink, shiny patch on the skin. Um, it could have little blood vessels that you see in the in the surface. Sometimes they're even, you know, not even pink, but skin colored. Um, but it's just a new bump on the skin. They can be very slow growing, so you might even have it on your skin for a year or two and not even know anything is wrong with it until it continues to grow. They can bleed. Um, they can kind of form scabs. Uh, so, you know, I, I tell my patients, if you have a bump on your skin um, that, that you think might be a bug bite or a pimple, but it's not going away after about a month, then it probably needs to be checked by a board certified dermatologist. The other category of skin cancer um, is melanoma. Melanoma is a much more dangerous form of skin cancer. So a melanoma, we use the A, B, C, D, E, and sometimes F rules. For, um, for describing those. So A is for asymmetry. If a mole looks asymmetrical, um, you need to have a board certified dermatologist look at it. Um, B is for border. If it has an irregular border, um, it needs to be examined. C is for color. So if it has different shades of brown, if it's changing color, if it has different colors, um, sometimes black or even blue in the mole, then it needs to be looked at. D is for diameter. If it's bigger than the head of a pencil eraser, which is about six millimeters, um, it definitely needs to be looked at, but I have found melanomas that are three millimeters. So um, you can have a, a very small brown new spot that looks a little funny um, and, and it could be something that needs to be checked. Um, e is for evolving. So these are cancers, they are growing over time. They can be very slow growing or they can be fast growing. Um, so if you have a mole that's been there for a long time, um, but then it, it is slowly changing a little bit, and um, that needs to be looked at. And then F is for funny looking. So if you step back and, and look at your skin and there's one spot that just looks funny, just doesn't match with all of your other spots, then that needs to be looked at um, by a board certified dermatologist. So, you know, I recommend to my patients that you should come in for an annual skin exam so that we can um, check all of your spots. We all have spots on our skin. Um, they should be checked. Um, you should have a baseline exam by a dermatologist and then get checked every year um, to see if you're in that one out of every five Americans that, that is going to get a skin cancer at some point. If you think that you might have a skin cancer or you just want to get checked for skin cancer, then schedule an appointment with one of our board certified dermatologists um, by clicking the link below.